people welcome to another video with all source and today we are going to hire out a car from enterprise uh, i'm going to get into more detail on uh, how uh, you can actually apply and how you can rent a car out by the hour but just before i get started make sure you follow me on one of the social medias above I've, as i always put up sneak peeks on what to expect and all sorts and as always Make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when you upload any video you'll actually be notified. You can tell I ain't done a video in a long time. It's been a while since I've uh, made a recent video. As you would know previously my other channel got deleted so this is just like a, another one except it's got an extra Z at the end so all sorts with the double Z. So if you haven't shared the channel out, make sure you share the channel out. Anyways, we are heading into Sheffield Centre where we are going to hire out a car uh, for the hour just to review and just to show you how easy it is uh, to hire a car out from Enterprise with their new car club as well. This video is not sponsored so if Enterprise is watching it, if you want to sponsor it, let me know in the comments or just message me. My info is in the bio. Anyways, let's head over into Sheffield and let's see what cars are available to hire out for the hour from Enterprise. Okay, so we just parked up in Sheffield. Now it's time to book a car. So the app you need to download is Car Club. It's the bottom one right there, as you can see. Yeah, that's what you need to download. Uh, once you've downloaded that, what you need to do is you need to make sure you are signed up. I'll give more information uh, once we get the car on how you can actually do it. But you have to go on Enterprise Car Club's website, uh, put all your details in, upload a selfie and upload your uh, driving license. And it takes a few days to uh, uh, approve. Once you approve it, uh, they will actually send you a member ID through email. Then you sign from the member ID into your app. Um, so once you've done that, then it's pretty easy to be honest. All you've got to do is create a reservation, uh, show what time you need it. So let's go into 10.30 to 11.30. We'll only get it for an hour. All vehicles, current location, and let's press search. So it gives you a breakdown on what cars are available for that time and also where they are located. So all you've got to do is scroll down choose what car you want and uh, yeah that is about it so what we will do is let's choose the nissan juke because that is uh, a car that i want to drive so let's click nissan juke and it just gives you a breakdown on how much it costs um, where the car is located and so on uh, you can actually choose uh, insur um, insurance well um, it's like uh, as you can see here it's only a couple of pounds just less than a couple of pounds extra and it will lower the excess so we'll click that it's only one pound something but uh, look how cheap it is to rent this nissan juke car for the hour uh, so yeah we'll go ahead with that and uh, create reservation and that's how easy it is to uh, book a car with the enterprise car club so all we have to do is head over to young street as you saw earlier that's where the car is located and uh, then i'll show you how to access the car because as you would know i haven't got the keys for it so let's see how it's done and i'll give you a bit more information on how uh, or uh, what you have to do when you've actually accessed the car, how, what um, regards are to fuel, uh, mileage and everything. So I'll give you a full information breakdown once we've got the car. But first, let's go pick the car up. We are just coming up to the location of the car. Around the bend, and the car should be around here. So basically, it says BU19, and I'm pretty sure it's right at the end, right there. Can you see it? Just on the left hand side, right, right here. Yep, yeah, that's it. And it actually says Enterprise Car Club on it as well. So let's park this up and Let's get into there and see how to access the car. Into the app. Face ID is kicked in. And as you can see here, that is the reservation. Earlier it wasn't showing that you could unlock and drive it, but it actually gave us five minutes where we can. So uh, yeah, let's walk over to the car. And let's see how 
you can unlock and drive it. So you can actually modify it if you want to um, keep it for longer or cancel it. So let's press unlock and drive. Take five before you drive and actually just unlocked right there. There you go. So it's automatic. Automatic. So you're probably thinking, what about fuel and everything? But I'll explain everything. So let me just get set up and we'll take it to the ground. Right, here we go. The glove box. And here is the pin. So basically, this is the pin you have to put in to set up when you uh, set up your account. Obviously, I'm not going to show you now. But let's... Uh, have you checked the vehicle for damage? Yes. Please ensure you report to the club. I want to continue. Take the keys from the slot. Vehicle booked until 11.30. And there we go. And that's it. That's the keys. And yeah, just put that back. Put that, close that. And uh, there we have it. Listen, Duke. Right, let's see what this car's about. So as you can see, it's an automatic 1.6 it also has heated seats as well which is under the armrest a bit of a nightmare to get to but don't need that in this weather today so let's take it for the drive we have got the keys from the glove box and we are off nissan juke for eight pound 45 can't go wrong okay so let me explain uh, how this actually works i um, do apologize if it goes dim or whatnot the lighting on this is anyways yeah so let me explain how it works basically once you've set the um, gave all the information like I told you earlier on the application and your uh, application is approved uh, they send you the member ID once you get the member ID you log into your uh, app and also you uh, while you are uh, in the application you have to put in a four uh, number uh, code so whenever you hire a car out in the glove box uh, is a pin pad which you saw earlier and that is uh, where you put your pin code in and that unlocks the key so once you've got the key you can just drive off to be honest and you're probably thinking what happens with with fuel and everything like that well in the glove box is also a fuel card which gives you fuel up to 80 pounds now you have to put fuel in uh, if it's below quarter if it's above quarter you don't actually have to put fuel in so when hiring a car out from enterprise car club you don't pay for fuel fuel included insurance is included access is included uh, when you actually click the terms and conditions uh, and also the hire of the car is actually included as well so basically everything included uh, the only thing you pay for is the mileage and also the car which you saw earlier uh, would be eight pounds 45 yeah you can actually hide this car or any car available uh, anytime monday to sunday and also uh, whatever time you actually want so if you want it at two o'clock in the morning you can actually hire it out two three o'clock whatever for, even for an hour you can ha actually hire it out uh, 24 7 whatever cars are available uh, the car you can actually go and pick up any time in the day whether it be early in the morning late at night uh, middle of the day whenever whenever so that's the good thing about this car club uh, you can actually hire it out in hours or out of hours so that's really good when it comes in handy but yeah overall not bad and this guy's got kicked down but yeah we are going to try and find a place to park up and i'll show you a bit more on the car here is the exterior of the car so as you can tell it's the not the newer model nissan juke but it is the facelift model 2019 let's just take a little walk around they have got the enterprise car club stickers on the side so people will know it is quite dirty but uh, yeah, not a bad car. Let's check the back for leg room. For those people who want to know what a Nissan Duke is like from the back. There we go, it's got full electrics, back and front. Let's check the boot out. It's already got a few marks on it as well. So you have a boot here, and you can also have some extra storage at the bottom. There we go. So that is it basically, it's just a pretty basic Nissan Juke, 
but as I wanted to drive one I thought why not hide this one out it is quite dirty you don't need to clean it uh, it does actually say in the car that the wood require if it was cleaned or not but you don't need to actually do it uh, I'm not even gonna drive this much I'm probably just gonna do a quick video around it and there we have it just park it back up uh, it has got a quarter of a tank already but as I'm not driving it much I'm not gonna put fuel in because um, it won't go less than that anyway because I'm not I've only literally uh, come not far from where I actually picked it up so let's check the cockpit out and as you can see it's got electric mirrors and no idea what this is that's your tire pressure if you want to set it up that's your traction and you've got your claws for your mirrors there you go so we we'll open them back up to auto but yeah it's got sat nav uh, dual climate control ac uh, rear camera as well so if you press camera as you can see it's got cameras all around it all around the car which is good so it is a uh, pretty kitted up nissan juke it's not the uh, really basic ones uh, it's got quite a few tech on it it's got a few um, buttons on the steering wheel but yeah what mileage is it 37,000 now they can tell here it's just got a quarter of a tank fuel in it's done 54 miles now you're probably thinking what is that right there so let me just show you now if you if you didn't have the code for the key you can actually get a card and unlock the car from there so you just swipe the card uh, from there and that will unlock the car so yeah that is it basically to be honest Nissan Juke I'm just heading off back to the location where I picked the car up from but overall uh, really nice and easy process of uh, hi uh, from hiring the car to picking it up driving it around and we are going to see how easy it is to drop it back off so basically I'm just heading over to the spot where I picked it up from but what do you think people let me know in the comment section below will you be using the Enterprise Car Club uh, if you want to see any other cars um, uh, if you want me to hire out let me know in the comments uh, let me know what cars they do hybrids uh, small cars medium cars vans large cars um, I'm waiting for a 4x4 to come around the area so I can actually hire one out but uh, this is like a mini SUV anyway but overall not a bad car I do like the Nissan Juke be better if it was a Nismo version but Bengals can't be choosing for £8.45 what do you want it's a really cheap car to hire out yeah we are going to end it right here I'm not doing a lot of mileage. Well, I'm only doing about two or three miles, so it's going to work it out from there. But yeah, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, Nissan Duke from Enterprise Car Club. Um, picked it up, dropped it off in the same place. Uh, like I said, if you want to see any other videos, let me know in the comment section below. That's how easy it is to rent a car out, whatever time, 24/7, uh, whatever it is available. Uh, that's how easy it is. It definitely comes in handy when hiring a car out if you need it if for emergency or vans to remove or whatever. If you need a van for an hour or two, uh, whatever's available, that's what you will get. If we lock and end trip. So turn off the lights, return the key fob to the holder and uh, yeah, let's just do that. See here the fob is in, the key is in and it says, well it did say uh, we did three miles. So as you can see here the distance three miles, your trip. So we just put that back in there, the fuel card is already in there. Let's get out and then we can lock and end the trip. We'll lock it now. The vehicle will lock and I don't know if you heard it it's actually locked so there we go it's locked and there we have it and that is a wrap I'm back in my Mercedes and uh, yeah uh, I ended the trip early as uh, there was no need 
to take it out for the full hour but the minimum you can hire it out for the hour and uh, you can actually end it early without paying the full day charge but overall not a bad experience the first time uh, actually hiring a car out for an hour it's really good if it comes in uh, if I do need it in the future and it comes in handy I'll definitely use it even whether what time it be early in the morning or late in the afternoon or during the day so uh, like I said earlier make sure you subscribe let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what car should I hire next and uh, I'll keep looking if there's a prestige car to hire so I can show you more about it so if you want to see any other car full car reviews let me know in the comment section below thanks again for watching this video make sure you subscribe and share out the all sorts channel and I will see you again for another video